As the political dust settles following elections, for ordinary citizens, the struggle continues. Some emerging farmers and farm dwellers feel defeated, having to negotiate an unjust world in which the alleged corruption of government officials is coupled with the alleged collusion of some established farmers and politicians. In the first episode of our two-part series, we focus on the tragedy of Freyat in KwaZulu-Natal, where, among others, some emerging farmers allege that their lives are being threatened as they are kicked out of state-owned farms. Freyat is a small town in the Zululand district of KwaZulu-Natal. The word means freedom, but for many here, economic and social freedom are a distant dream. On the first day of special assignments visit to the area, we witness blatant abuse of power. A shop owner, without warning, decides to remove the aspirant farm owner Blessing Bukosini's shop contents due to an explained delay in payment. Apparently this is the common experience of the small businesses in the area. Unfortunately for this man today, the SABC's cameras are in the area. Dennis, can you explain what's happening here? Uh, we, 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 we want to clear the place in order to revamp it. The guy is not paying rent, so... What do you mean the guy is not paying rent? It's simple, he doesn't pay so rent. So do you have a right to kick out his things like that? No, we're going to evacuate his things. No, what right do you have to do that? You've leased the place to him and now you're doing this. Why do you think you have that no right? Why do you think you have the right to do this? Apparently, this property owner started with other shops in the same street, with pliers in his hands. He refuses to engage, only saying we don't know the whole story. It's day one of our shoot, and there's already a bad smell in the air. Blessing <laughs> Inkomo, Nimbuzi, Nasematubang in Enda Itaisa, Inkomo, Nimbuzi, Sonjing, Umundu is only Moja. And then in Zolandage, Umlando, Wami, Gugutige, Uguze, Nizan Toli Farm, Nens and Jan, Uma Puma, a blood driver, a good neplas, a Engli Bugang, Giltan, and Jalman Zulangaglon, Lumlung, Betaisi, Inkomo, Enza, Indo, Ebeng Veling Yens. So on a Sunday, like here, now we are going to lend to Ian Zayo. We are going to Engi Tandayo, and so on a Lily Plus, like so Engi Altan, Engi so Eli Yon. We are going to log so go to Engi Tengelo Lona, Lily Plus. This is the farm he had identified, Sweet Home Farm in the Blood River area of Zululand, which he was supposed to have occupied and farmed on. After identifying the farm, he negotiated with the owner and was later called in for an interview. This was part of the state's land reform program, encouraging agrarian reform. <laughs> Any opportunity, you go to bank grande, any interview.
So wase kumeleke mina ke ngwazu guti ngi kufonele unomzane umalan uheri malan. Ngi bonge ituba ang pelona. Luguti bengiltandi ilifam lake. Kota nga nga wazu kumelele. Wabe se ngpendwe se tayi. Eh, ukonu mundu ogu yeno pase intolo konu. Usele itiwe lai plazim. Umang landele lage kumlungu sebe nchena kwi department u spiwe nko usuta hai. Age kumuto tenge lifuwa. Tina si umnyango gale nrupo mu sitatisi ngumuso kutile lia plaze li tenge lwe abasalik pela. Nina antenge lwa ngifuwa. Maje kwa ngitita age loko kushu umlungu na usek shiwo i official uguti hau. Umlungu kulumu uti kule tu temba zamini. Ngiti pela yini li official yi nglazi rangi ina lugu interview. Liel futi esel tomu lilu. Ka nange mpela lwa ngtu saluti abanga lusukumela pezu li mpela. Mange lusukumela pezu lunga fonela uke tanzi mande ogwa uyena. Owe pete e utarekte mnyangu inweze mtaba. O pete ma respect. Wati aibu Mr. Gina Kanjani. Kuyipu uta loko kshoyo. Sata disi ngumu tina. Uguti ifamu. Sintengela nobabili, ngobe wini mnigui interview, saato luguta mapointe inu, ayalingana. He says the officials later admitted there was a mistake and he was told to occupy the farm. He sold some of his businesses, thinking he'd be starting a new life as a farmer. Five years later, he says he's still waiting for the allocation to be made official. Ngapa ala futi ngwati, ikopia ikon. 2016, nga requesta ama pepa e plus, kuti nge tela ugniwa, ike teka agreement. E shoyo kuti, nge kone plus ini, na kukpilonga gimi. Kwa tiwa hai anglinde, nzo ktola. Kwa za wapalo five years angtolilu utu na manji. In terms of the state land lease and disposal policy, a caretaker, in the absence of an official farm lessee, can only occupy the land for 12 months. For about five years, Bukosini and his co-owners have been occupying the land. He says even though he was entitled to half of the farm's assets, he hasn't received anything. The once productive farm is now derelict and has been vandalized. <laughs> In its defense, the farm co-owner denies the allegations. We don't have such a thing that we must share with the past. On the handover that they did to us, of which we do have a copy, they mentioned that in December is getting everything that is on that farm. We still have that copy. Everything, in, including houses, including the land, and including all the cows that are there. They say the previous owner took away some of the tools before he left and insists that Bukosini is not a partner because there is no documentation to say that he is. There was the official, his name called the Voices Tolle. Mm-hmm. He is the one who came with this thing, Yabkosini. And Ufiyadu Yabkosini already we were in the farm. And we were so surprised. How can you bring someone who was not here when the handover was done? Because the handover is written, the whole portion of that farm is belonging to the December, including what is inside. How, how are we going to trust you if you bring someone now, after a year, saying this person must be here as well, without anything in black and white? Many more things do not work at the farm, like this irrigation system that costs thousands of rands, and electricity that was cut off because of non-payment. His hopes of making the farm productive again are fading, as he recently received a letter tantamount to an eviction notice. process interview. Ngayenza, ngayipasa, guna maminiti, nagui faili, eshoyu guti, ngapasa, ga alokei tuwe plazin. 
So yini ke mine ngeenze wrong. Na manje ngisakubuza ayo kubona. Yini le ngeenze wrong. As part of Africa, we're giving its people the great future it deserves with an investment partner like no other, you. We've invested 120 billion rands of our money and yours into creating more than just hope for this beautiful continent we call home. We're sustaining our soil and enriching lives. We're giving our children a brighter tomorrow. We're investing in small businesses to grow the economy and we're bringing warmth and light to the people who need it most. And by investing in our planet, we're passing this all on to future generations too. Great things are possible when we invest together. That's why we're invested in changing Africa's tomorrow. Solani Mkiva says that they believe that the king should be released and that they are not being opportunistic. The last four years we have been engaging with government, it cannot be a post-colonial government that begins to jail a king in a context of what actually happened. Bobby Solomons, he's the spokesperson of the Alex Shutdown Committee, the multi-billion run Alexander Renewal Project. Nothing came of that. Community wants to know what really happened to the money. The creative director of the label, Mansu, that of course means black is beautiful mm -hmm. in Sisutu. What has been your experience in that regard, given you know some of the more established labels that you have managed to work with? It is hard. 15 years is a long time. It is a lot of sacrifice for your family to make for you. This is so the we're thing. Wearing the, the brief. This is it this morning. The SABC News mobile app is your one-stop digital portal to all the news you need. Stay connected with the latest in breaking news. Watch the SABC News channel along with clips and live streams of all the big news events. And listen to all the SABC News radio stations live, including podcasts and much more. Simply download the SABC News app to your Android or iOS device from either the Play Store or the App Store. SABC News. Independent. Impartial. Blessing Bukosini is fighting to keep millions of rands of the state-owned farm, which he says he was a beneficiary of, after applying for it and passing the interview. A letter from the department sent in February says his caretaker agreements have expired, even though he never received one. In addition, he says his co-partners are neglecting the farm and that they are blatantly selling the farm's cattle, claiming some of them have been stolen. Kota uma ngitayese inkomo ngiyitayesa nje ngumuntu wesibhizinisini ngiyabheka ukuthi yiphi inkomo ngiyitayesa isiphi sizathu isenze ukuthi ngiyitayise lo nkomo But this witness says the livestock is being taken by the co-owners to be sold The cows are taken right there from the farm in a van and it's done by people who are looking after them when that van comes to the farm, it goes straight to the people who are responsible for those cows. I don't believe that they are stolen. A van normally comes and loads them. How can that be considered stealing? I always see them taking the cows. There is a place where they take them. Perhaps they are selling them. Bukosini says that one of the farm's two co-owners is an official who works for the Agricultural Research Council, a state agency. In terms of the land lease and disposal policy, public servants are not allowed to benefit from a land lease project. 
Mm-hmm. I'm working for ARC. I don't know the police, maybe the one that is I don't know the police or for SAPC, which is Arsenal Naranja. So if I was, I'm a police about rural development. I'm, I'm pretty sure someone from rural development, if I was, I'm a police work. The time I went and applied for the farm, he or she was supposed to stop me. Because what normally happens if you apply for a farm, you drop your CV there. And my CV they do have even in their offices. And my CV is clearly stating that I'm working for ARC. I'm pretty sure they didn't know, as even myself, I didn't know that ARC is part of government. That's why they allowed my application and they proceeded with my application. Other allegations include that one of the co-owners of Lindy Timber is related to officials in the Department of Rural and Land Reform. Both deny the allegations. Adding to the challenges is the status of land dwellers who were also said to have been allocated the farm but are still waiting. Yeah. 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 Utena is so hamba besloxia na guye since a low process ye application. Kwazu wa figala pek ten kwana sibenum tlanga no nemiting nai. La paschela kongu tenu se ahambe plazin, i plazi, so gzobang ele, tu hulme no sel ten ili plaz ulteng ele tin. Ti la point number one. Eh sik funde le uksebenza nanganam ne plaz. Skulele kwa nema plazin. Sitale kwa ne plazin. Sagwazu kripe wasi plazin. Manje mangabe. Born a best deprived man with Sinasna Cone with the seven silly plus the lad, as as with Bashukteen. Tinas Votila Tina, Sivotel government to ANC. We held Yaluina Oket. Satanges or Etanges, Etambis. Manja after after all, I say come out to spend a feature in a match. A government here, Tate, Itabangalabataba rural areas. Kakul, Mobaka, a bit disadvantaged before. So much it is a suburban magic local with the Gazarala and Tina March. Tina's born and Jesse alienated March. This is about the seven Latin, a bang of San Nagu and Nogna. More about the Lavata about Bassiza, Ibola about the Bazos Cocoba, Labazo Dalangati, Bazos Kibela, Bastale Emakan. My hand, Bumlung, Shia and Como Lapa, see Bali and Amlung and Niwin Como, a clean born Alaba and Mobacon Mundo, a coach on for Tam Cotroy, Obeuza mean. Obe we and I know at a figure like she in Como La Pangicon and a party plazing. Eight at Tess is a car over Pongon, a car. Tess who are a Polomundo Islanders and a pick like Stata Fang a party plazing, Nicon and a parat. Nizoy loose. In fear, eight and opposite salaries in Common Chen and was opposite in Common Ias, Minang Valerian Commerce, who hundred masses, who hundred and thirty should loot it, Fanning as would to come up loaded to Sicilian. What is who are Lomundo and Bizella Conner a Pemyang when a friet, Glavez on Club. Slamini denies that he was taking cattle away. The tenants initially opposed Bukusini's presence on the farm, but they say they soon realized they were both victims of the same system. They have teamed up to oppose what they consider unfairness and corruption by the department. On Trends Travel, we bring you a full guide on all things lifestyle related. With so much to discover, we give you comprehensive reviews of places to visit, music, travel and food. We also explore the arts, whether on or off stage. All this and more. Be sure to tune in to Trends Travel, Saturdays at 5.30pm. The One Household One Hectare project is one of the programs that the state is using to empower local communities to be self-sustaining. Dumisani Mbumo is an agricultural graduate who manages this site. 
project e cluster u rural development and land reform eh kuma farm la asuka thengwe u land reform e wa thengeli community ba imba wa biza ngo plus so why city why seven a program e bizu one household one hectare eh inhlose e program ukuzoqosha indlala nokukhetha amathubu umsebenzi kwi community this is one of the promising projects that employ the local community si prioritize inja kakhulu ukuthi kube yona engena kwi agriculture so loko ke isizana ukuthi isuke na kuyidakamiza izinto ekanjalo then izokhona ukusebenza emhlabathini two iletha amathubu omsebenzi kumphakathi okunye eh ngaphekwa lokuthi iletha amathubu omsebenzi i product ephuma la kwisivuno sonke si divide amongst ama beneficiary akuyo le le community the co-op is one of the graduate programs that Bukosini is engaging in to give community farmers experience and at the same time providing them with a market for their produce. Si supporta kakhulu i local economy because yonke i produce elana isuka kuma black farmers eh asemancane and futhi u85 u supporta kakhulu ama graduates. At Pumla Farm in the same area is another co-op supported by the state and sustains the local community. It got on 2010. La go a mashubi, senza, sialima. Silima u punchisi, senza umbila, a mavici, ning ukuzi nyamanizamangan. Support with government, Bagabis Niges. Special assignment visited the previous owner of the farm, Harry Malan, to clarify what his understanding was when the state bought the farm from him. I let them by to come and say there was two persons that had for the track of the word name, and there were two persons that had answered, and there were like me so on the half the sambur. He says he's saddened by the state of the farm on which he grew up. In 2015 was ik zo in de omgeving van juni maand daar zo, en toen was daar al reeds van die koeien elf wat gloeid doet was, als gevolg van ziektes en wat niet kon kalf nie, wat alleen niet naar gekeken het nie. Van die groot verse wat die staat gekoop het was daar net een wat de kalfie gehad het, die rest was niet meer daar nie, hulle was verkoop of was weg geweest. Well, there's nothing to do with the land because they had the first three years in the land for the first three years or four years. They had the first year for the big farmers and the last two years where they were standing. And they had the first year for me to live in the land. But they didn't have the power to live in the land. They had the power to live in the land and the power to live in the land. They had the power to live in the land and the power to live in the land with the power to live in the land. So there's nothing to do with that. There's nothing to do with the wind pump that the water in the house is also not made. The National Department of Rural Development and Land Reform says they are busy investigating the matter. What has happened is that when we, when we did an audit and, and, and investigation on the matter, we discovered that the farm, there were farm dwellers on the property, and again, the, some of our officials, one of our officials illegally, without any authority, then allocated the land to some occupiers, which then resulted into us dealing with that matter, investigating to try and correct the problem. Currently, we're trying to deal with the illegal occupiers that have occupied the farm so that the farm can then be allocated to the farm dwellers that are residing on the property. So obviously, you need to do a land rights inquiry to see how many of those farm dwellers are there and their rights, and then we want to allocate to that. 
but unfortunately the what we call that official has, has left the department but there is an investigation that is being done once we finalize it then we will sort it out as a department In the meantime, Bukosini is still fighting to remain on the farm, even though he says he knows that there are many vested interests in these state land projects. Next week, more victims speak out as we also reveal the public servants and established farmers alleged to be complicit in the victimization of some emerging farmers. We have been asked by the current manager now, Mr. Kelly, that okay, we have to vacate the farm.